In an ultimate survival experiment, 100 Minecraft players were randomly scattered over 4 different clans and dropped into an ice age. We had the following clans, Longclaw, Smallfoot, Evercold and Bluebird, each of them located on a separate island. The players only knew few things. As time progresses, the winds would be getting colder. The goal of the clans is to stop the winter before they all freeze and die. The only way to do this is by gathering and combining all of the four legendary weapons, of which one can be found on each island. Will the clans manage to find the weapons and work together to end the winter, or will they wage war amongst themselves and die? This is 100 players simulate an ice age in Minecraft. As all players spawned in their respective territories, people immediately started to explore their islands. In order to craft a legendary weapon, the players would need to find 4 items. A mammoth tusk, giant's eye, ice crystal and drop of ceremonial blood, which were all hidden around the L. What? Needed for the force that you do. Oh, wait, is that- that's a village, 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 village at the back, village at the back. Oh wait, what the heck is that? No, that's a person. Okay, never mind. I got ceremonial blood and I got I ice giant's eye. Over at the Bluebirds, which is my team, most players did what would be the best thing to do in a survival situation. They immediately split up. I'm hello, freaking. everyone. Hello. Hello. Where is everyone? Cold. Cold. <laughs> Maybe we could look for some animals. If there are any animals around at least. However, we weren't the only team facing this problem. At the Smallfoot clan, which spawned on a large hill, people also ran into a lot of different directions. On top of that, the members of Smallfoot also discovered that they were not alone on the island. What in God's name is that? What the f is that? What the f is that? Fight it? What the f you mean fight it? You fight it! What the f is that? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yep, you saw that right, a saber tooth. I mean, we're in a late Pleistocene after all, so an Ice Age themed event would not be complete without some of those animals wandering around. Animals Eclipse is taking on two <laughs> mammoths on his own, what a man. Uh, Eclipse, we go- Oh! Oh! Help! Help! Watch out, 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 after a chaotic start, Moses and Smallfoot decided to settle near a large frozen bay down the hill. Contrarily to Bluebird and Smallfoot, most of the Evercorp members stayed together. Yo, let's stick together, let's stick together, hold up, where's Danny? Wait, let's gather as many people as possible. Oh, we got another Evercorp member! We got another one! Go, 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 go. Oh, it's a village! There's a village! There's a village! After finding a well-sized camp, of which each island has one, the Evercalls decided to turn that into their home. Yo, should we make a farm or something? Or do we hunt for food? Lastly, we had the long class, which didn't really take time to explore. Instead, they decided to prioritize farming and hunting over everything else. Because during an ice age, food is scarce after all. Get seeds, get seeds. I need food. I literally lost all my hunger. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh my god, this guy is screwed. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> While the long claws were busy with farming and fueling the mammoths, a player named Fuego Wave named himself leader, which most of the players simply seemed to agree to. So my argument on why I should be leader is uh, Fuego is fire. I'll, you guys go mine, and then I'll just set up the farm and then power farm for you guys. <laughs> God, no! At the same time, Bluebird also saw their first leader arise. A group of bluebirds that just like the Evercalls also settled in their base camp decided that a player named Aimpie should take the lead. Okay, did we elect a leader at all? No, we should uh, elect a leader. Aimpie, you wanted to be leader, right? After some reluctancy, she accepted the role. On top of that, we also came up with our intimidating war cry. I think we need the war cry, guys. Like, does anyone know how a bird sounds? Kaka! Kaka, exactly. That's gonna be our... Hey, guys, listen, we have a war cry. All hail Aimpie, the upper bluebird. Kaka, come on, guys. Kaka, kaka, kaka. 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 This, is, this was such an anticlimax. <laughs> However, as most bluebirds weren't up to date with Aimpie's leadership, this was going to pose problems in the future.
Just a quick announcement, these videos take quite long to make, so if you do enjoy this video, then please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. I will upload more content like this in the future, and it would make me very happy. Also, if you want a chance to join one of these simulations yourself, then make sure to join our Discord. The link is in the description. Anyway, let's continue the story. Well, the Bluebirds and Longclaws had simply chosen their leaders without proper voting processes, the Evercos decided to hold a full election. We either win or we die trying. I have 27 diamonds, I have 13 emeralds, Jesus I have the legendary Christ. giant's eye, okay? I have yeah, all this armor. Die. I'm gonna drop diamonds to everybody right now. I'm gonna drop in diamonds right now. We are faced with harsh terrain, unforgiving nature, and other enemies. All those are stepping stones for our village to prosper and overcome this harsh winter. We will obtain the weapon. No one will take us out. I, as leader, will make sure to make that happen. After a few good speeches, a player named BTEC was elected as the clan leader of Evercold. We, of course, need to create the weapon first. So I feel like everyone who's got the materials, we, of course, know that Green's got them. Finally, we were left with the small food tribe, whom also held their elections. Me and Zadamass are running together. We're gonna plan this well and have people on farming, people on mining, make sure everyone's geared up enough to fight. Let's be honest, two leaders, kind of, kind of lame. That's two people you gotta worry about. Or you can just worry about me, protecting me, because I'm pretty much useless. After a quick vote, Buckless, who also faced the Sabertooth earlier, took the lead. After being elected leader, it quickly became clear what his motives were. He wanted to build the biggest village that the Ice Age has ever seen. And aside from that, he also had a somewhat peculiar way of leading his team. Dame, you're a build leader. Go. Build. Slurps. Pure wood. Get building. Build, build. You build. You all build. You build. You build. You build. If you're not building, you're wrong. Jaden. I don't care what you tell me right now, you get building. With all the clans having settled and elected their leaders, it is now time to see how they would face their first issues. On the Bluebird Island, it didn't last long before one player had collected all the necessary items to craft the legendary weapon. By combining the tusk, giant's eye, blood and ice crystal, the Bluebirds had crafted the first of four legendary weapons, the Arctic Sword. However, there wasn't much time for celebrations, as in order for Fallen to hold on to the sacred weapon, another clan member had to be sacrificed. What's Somebody up? has to die for the weapon to be activated. If we're just randomly gonna kill someone, there's gonna be chaos, so that's not enough. I know. Okay, uh, so what are we gonna do? Are we just gonna do it or are we gonna just bring the news and hope for a volunteer? Come, important meeting. Everyone come. Knock asleep, come. Everyone come. Important meeting. Guys, it's very simple. We need to kill someone as soon as possible, otherwise we're all gonna die because we need the weapon. It's very simple. Do we have a volunteer? Otherwise we're gonna vote who's gonna die. But the Bluebirds had a very difficult time figuring out who to sacrifice. As me and leader Aimpai tried to calm everyone down and figure out a solution, Chaos erupted amongst the clan. Kill me, no, TJ's no, 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 leader. No, 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 oh no, 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 not him, no, oh my god, no. no. The poor farmer, that went by the name Squiddy Boy, was responsible for the survival of many Bluebird members, as he made sure everyone in the camp stayed well fed. And because of this, many grieved his death. Okay. Guys, I want all of us to stand there around the cross and have a moment of silence. Alright guys, thank you very much, thank you very much. And this is the caca. In the meantime, the mammoth population on the Longclaw Island became a problem. Let's make them go extinct, boys. Oh, are you guys ready? You guys ready? Look, look, watch, observe. This is this is how Master does it. Go back, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> Terry, run, Terry, run! Terry, run! There's one, there's one, there's one. Oh, the other one's coming in. 
Someone has two of them, and then another person has one of them. Oh my God. Oh my God. Get into the mines! Run this way, this way, this way! Kiev, 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 go this way! <laughs> oh, I almost died. I almost died. <laughs> yeah. After several long claws had died because of the mammoth attacks, Fuego decided that it would be safer for his people to settle somewhere else on the island. And thus they all moved to a tall hill in the center of the L, directly giving them a strategic advantage as well. Guys, 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 we're relocating, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. Well, there was some turbulence amongst the long claws and bluebird tribes over at the small food, things were going rather peacefully. After the Bluebirds had crafted their sword, b -Tech decided that it was also time for Evercall to get the required materials for the weapon. However, this didn't go as easy as planned. Because before I forget to mention it, as soon as someone carries a legendary weapon, he or she is bound to the arm. The only way to pass the weapon on to someone else is by death. Meaning that if a team wants to collect all 4 weapons and end winter, they would have to kill the other 3 weapon holders. This did cause some problems at Evercold, as some people couldn't agree with each other over who was going to carry it. Well Green, listen, okay, you, okay. Have, the, you have one of the materials, yes. right? Are you willing to comply with the team? Uh, I'm willing to have the legendary weapon. Two players named Green Sandwich and Mr. Dutch, who lost the election to BTEC earlier and possessed two of the legendary items, wanted the weapon for themselves and decided to flee the camp and hide their items. Dutch, Dutch, I don't think they like me. We have to hold our ground. Let's hide it. Let's hide, let's hide this eye right here. Just know that a fight may, may happen. Foley, can you stay by my side? I feel like an assassination will be coming. Because bro, I, f I have a bad feeling that this conflict isn't gonna end without death. As a result, a civil war was imminent. The Evergold clan wasn't the only one with inner conflicts, however. Back at the Bluebirds, two players named Senpai, Cake, and Naka didn't agree with Aimpai's leadership. No, Whose idea, who's idea was it to elect Aimpai as leader? While the Bluebird clan tried to avoid conflict by talking with them, distrust quickly grew between the now separated Bluebird people. And thus, the followers of Aimpai moved to a mountain nearby, as we were concerned about the safety situation back at our camp. Oh, he's definitely gonna still try to kill me, I know this. Yeah, you need, you need to keep an eye out for him. Yeah. Because the tensions arose rapidly, I, as Aimpai's second in command, decided to order Ronin and a few of the other Bluebird warriors to track down and take out Senpai Cake and Naka for the good of our clan. I want you to find uh, Senpai Cake and take him out. Would you be able Just to do that? Make, Make sure to come back, guys. Make sure to come back. Do you really want this, TJ? Bad enough? It's the best. It's for the best. It's for the best. I trust you. I'm your officer and... I gave my strongest man the task to protect your claim on the leadership. The winter was slowly getting stronger. Crops had difficulty growing and players had to wear a thick layer of clothing to avoid frostbite. Elemental, one of the small food members, was out in the wild, looking for the items. As in his opinion, what Buckless was doing with the other members of the village was a waste of time. Okay, well I'm guessing we need to find... Oh, it's a mammoth toss, right? So we need to find a mammoth, I'm guessing, and kill one. Yeah. The eye of the ice giant. Did you see any ice giant when we looking around? Do you have yeah, yeah. the eye or a mammoth tusk? Uh, the, the other guy just asked me. No, but I do have the ceremonial blood. In the meantime, back at Evercold, the weapon situation worsened. Green Sandwich possessed two parts, one part was entirely missing, and on top of that, the fourth part was in possession of another player named El Deathly, who also didn't want to give up on it. Bro, you're not gonna get the weapon either way, so there's no point in you holding on to it. Like, cause it why, takes. Why would I not get the weapon? Because we have the we have the items, and we want we want to get all the items first, and then decide as a team on who gets it. I have an idea. 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 Let's go tell the green guy and his friend 
that that guy has both of the items. Just snitch on him. So they try and kill him. While well, B-Tech was setting up a plan together with his right hand man, El Deathly decided to flee the camp as well and looked for Green Sandwich in order to team up with him. Hello. Uh, Yo, we all started a base out here? Yeah, the, the whole team's mad at us, so we have to live out here now. I revealed that I have the eye, and um, they all want the eye. <laughs> hey, Deathly, do you want to join our team? After finding him, Green Sandwich quickly trusted El Deathly and let him join the team, even showing him where he hid his items. Oh, I see. This is, yes. This did give them a huge advantage over the main camp, as they were now in possession of three of the four items. However, as time passed by, they quickly ran out of food, which led them to having to make a very difficult choice. Head back to the now for them dangerous main camp, or starve to death. After a long hunt, Elemental managed to find all of the legendary items on the small food island, and returned to the village. Elemental! Frog I have both! A... I have both! Do you actually? The mammoth and the eye. While being slightly scared of the possibility that Bucklers would punish him for not helping build the village, the leader of the small food was well aware of the worsening conditions, and instead received him as a hero and decided that Elemental himself should carry the weapon. Forged is that in eternal winter. However, just like Bluebird had to do earlier, the small food also had to do a sacrifice. Alright. Here's the dilemma, people. Everybody quit talking or you'll die. Alright? We need to kill one person here right now to get our staff to work. Is anybody offering? Because if you don't offer, I have two names in mind and we're going to do a vote. I didn't think that was going to happen. Alright, Jaden, Mr. Rennie, stand in the middle. <laughs> if you want Raiden to die, stand on this side. If you want Miss Rennie to die, stand on this side. Uh, that's looking rough, Miss Rennie. Will anybody die for Mrs. Rennie? All right, Elemental, you have permission to murder Miss Rennie. I felt so bad, bro. I never wanted to do this ever again in my entire life. After a voting process, a small food member had been sacrificed, meaning that the Blizzard staff had now been achieved. Can't help. I feel bad. It should have been you, Jaden. Buckless. It just shows that you have character and that you feel bad for the sacrifice we had to make, and it shows that you actually. We'll make it, it doesn't bring Miss Rennie back. I'm about to kill you. Shut up. You got me? Back at Bluebird, Ronan returned with disappointing news, causing an argument between me and Leader Aimpai on whether tracking down Senpai Giget Naka is worth the time. As much as we want to kill that one guy, do we really uh, want to be surprised attacked by another team? Naka Sleep knows which one of us has the weapon. If he sells us out, our whole plan fails. So he has to die. There's he no has option. to die. Yeah, he has, he to, has die. to die. Okay. On the Evercold Island, Green Sandwich, Mr. Dutch and El Deathly headed back to the main camp for food. And on top of that, decided to talk with b -Tech to avoid punishment. He is just going to kill you, Greens. I'm telling you, there's a trap you don't want to do. All we want is just give me, so allow me to lead the team. You guys can have the weapon. We don't care. Like craft it and it helps both of us because no one dies. You guys have the weapon. You guys can do whatever you want with the weapon. And just allow me to lead the team and just be united just as a group because it's getting colder, right? The longer it takes us to craft weapons and actually kill the other teams, it's just going to be like detrimental to both of us. You know what I mean? All right, so I'll, I'll retrieve the eye. I'll retrieve the eye and I'll come back to base, okay? As a conclusion, Green Sandwich could carry the weapon, but in return, I had to acknowledge b -Tech as his leader, to which he agreed. But El Deathly had finished. Green Sandwich, however, immediately knew where El Deathly could have gone to. I swear I'm gonna kill that stupid platypus. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Stupid idiot. Deathly has the eye. Deathly has the eye? Deathly took the eye. If we see Deathly, it's kill on sight. It's kill on sight. Just as Bluebird and Small Food, Longclaw now also had acquired all the legendary items and the player named JJQ was chosen as the weapon holder. After the frozen eggs had been crafted, Fuego immediately decided to hold a vote to decide who was going to be sacrificed. We have information for the weapon to work. A teammate must die. It's so hard to choose. I don't want to kill any of you guys. You guys are all hobies. What if we just... Wait, 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 wait. What if... No, 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 no. What if we... What if we just... I'll sacrifice myself. Only to find out that one of the members volunteered. 
in order to spare the lives of his brothers and sisters. Go, do the deed. Yeah, make it great, make it great. Make, someone make it great for him. After the sacrifice, Fuego gathered all of the long claws to leave the island and hunt the other clans. In order to collect all four weapons and end the winter. No matter how many people would have to die. Go, go, go! Falls the red boys! Jump the little boys! Jump Bambi! Get Bambi's mom! Three clans were now in the possession of a legendary weapon, leaving only Evercold to finish the job. Luckily, one of the Evercolds had found the missing item, the Ice Crystal. On top of that, Green Sandwich and Mr. Dutch had managed to find El Deathly. It's definitely, it's definitely, it's definitely, it's definitely. Hello? Hey, where's the eye, bro? Where's the eye? You ran away from us, you betrayed us. Who, out of fear of getting killed, handed over his items. With some reluctancy, Green Sandwich spared his life but instead decided to banish him from the camp. As soon as the two returned to the camp, Evercold could finally craft the Polar Scythe, which Green Sandwich would subsequently carry. Wait, I have the scythe. Wait, wait, I have it. I have it. Oh, it says your weapon requires a sacrifice for it to work. Kill another teammate with it or it loses its power. Contrarily to their search for the items, the Evercolds didn't have much difficulty with the sacrifice, as they, just like Longclaw, also had a volunteer. I would like to thank Obi for his great contribution to the team. He has put m a lot of effort into building and a lot of effort into helping Evercold grow to what it was. <laughs> OBX was one of the most important members we had, and we thank you for your service. As the holder of the weapon, I assign you to lead the cavalry. The cavalry. I can't even say the word. Uh, no. With all four legendary weapons crafted and ready to be merged, the War of Clans was about to begin. Guys, one thing, one thing I want to say is if you see someone with the weapon, you will have to make sure that Green gets the weapon. Jump people, jump people, jump people! It's too late. I got him. At Bluebird, Ronan had successfully tracked down and killed Naka. However, Senpai Cake was still missing. You but killed him? Yeah. Good. Alright, we can focus on new things now. We need to collect the weapons. Where are the others? But before we could continue making our plans, we got attacked. Behind us! Oh, run! Aim by this way! This way! This way! This way! Follow! This way! This way! Let's go! First kill! W! Come, come, come. Just run. Anybody needs to stay alive. Come, 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 come. They're right behind us. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Aim by there right behind you. Run. Just run. Just run. Just run. TJ, don't oh, sacrifice yourself. Run, 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 JJ, oh. wait, JJQ is the one of them that has the weapon. JJQ. Yeah, 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 yeah. Un unless, unless a diamond axe looks... No, no, no. JJQ has the god weapon. Where is Fallen Eclipse? Knowing the long claw tread, me, Aimpai and Ronan decided to look for the other two clans in order to form an alliance. It turned out that back at the island, the long claws weren't the only ones that headed to Bluebird, as the Evercolds were doing the exact same thing. But they arrived a little later. So... Uh, go, 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 go. Run. Uh, be careful, be careful, be careful. There's a, there's a whole team, there's a whole team. Pretty much everybody. Wait, should we go back to base? I don't think that's a good idea. Stay together, stay together, stay together, stay together. 
Get, get the ones on the right together. Together, ones on the right. Let's cut them off. Let's cut them off. Well, some bluebirds died during the long claw attack. The attack could be seen as unsuccessful because of a lack of strategy. Now, all the long claws were spread out as well. Run, go the other way, go the other way, go, 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 <laughs> Because of this, the Long Claw Clan had taken a major hit, and many of their members perished by either the Cold, Wildlife, or other clans. Just run, just run, just run, just run, just run! That's every call, that's every call, that's the biggest team! Oh, we gotta run. Fuego, however, did manage to survive, together with some of his strongest men, but were quickly found by the Evercold army. Listen, 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 listen. What we need is we need to work together to kill Smallfoot because they have a ton of stuff, and I'm willing to team. Plus, we, all we need is to stop Winter, that's all. No, no, wait, guys, stop, 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 stop. Don't, don't attack, don't attack. Stop, 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 stop. We're not attacking, stop attacking. Fuego decided to save his life and those of his remaining followers by siding with the Evercolds. We can all win this. All we need to do is stop the Eternal Weapon or Eternal Winter with the weapons, right? Even betraying JJQ and the other Longclaw members by promising BTEC that they could kill all Longclaws not present, amongst them JJQ, so that the Evercold clan could acquire her weapon. If you agree to sacrifice JJQ, we'll, we'll allow you to we'll, we'll allow you to be allies. That's fine. I'll, I'll sacrifice JJQ for the betterment of my entire team. But while Fuego was negotiating with the Evercolds, a lonely bluebird sparked their attention. Everyone, everyone regroup. Stop running. Why are they running? Come back. Stop running. Bluebird's over there. They, they were just attacking one of you guys. Boost me, boost me, boost me, boost me. As Fuego, the remaining Longclaws and the Evergold clan started chasing the lonely bluebird, they got spotted by the Smallfoot army, that had by now also headed out to look for the other weapons. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. This is our war to piggyback off of. Wait, team on the left, team on the left, team on the left. There's a team, there's a team, there's a team. They want team up, group up, group up, group up, group up. Don't chase, don't chase, don't chase. Don't. We fight, we fight, we fight to the death, boys, let's go. After noticing the small food clan chasing them, Fuego and BTEC quickly turned around and engaged, leading to a huge battle between the three clans on the ice. While this fight was taking place, me and Aimpai found the other bluebirds, amongst them Fallen, our weapon holder. It also didn't last long before our clan noticed what was happening on the ice in the distance. What's going on there? Wait, wait guys, wait! Get him, get him, get him! Help me! Help! Yo, help me, I got half a heart, I got half a heart, I got half a heart. Help me! Help me! Run, turn! After several deaths on both sides of the battle, the arrival of the Bluebird clan scared both the Evercolds and Smallfoot, as they were now both heavily weakened. But we weren't there to wage war. Instead, Aimpai wanted all leaders to come together and unite and end winter in a peaceful way. What do you guys want? Reality check, we're not gonna win, nobody's gonna win this if we don't work together. We get everyone, so this is Fuego's idea. 
We get everyone, we get everyone that has the weapons together, and they just go in an arena and fight, and whoever wins, wins. Well, there was slight distrust from each side. Buckless, b -Tech, and the remaining now leaderless long class agreed to aim Pi's plan. b -Tech stepped up and started talking to all people, even prompting all clans to unite as one. We have to g get up, make sure everyone that has a weapon comes together, and then we work, we work as a team. But just as everything went into the right direction, this happened. Wait, how? Who him? I didn't hit him. I didn't hit him. B-Tech was assassinated. But somehow, no one saw who was responsible. With the Smallfoot blaming the Evercolds, the Evercolds blaming the Longclaws, and the Longclaws the Bluebirds, chaos once again erupted. Buckless and Aimpy tried to calm everyone down, but it was already too late. Some of the Bluebirds immediately started killing the last Longclaws, while the Evercolds stepped out of the ambitioned unification clearly not accepting the assassination of their leader. LT5, your team ended up murdering b -Tag. Do you have anything to say? Do you have anything to say? No, no. Oh god, oh god, I need to go, I need to go. Let's go, 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 go. Kill this guy, kill Evercold, kill Evercold. Help. Guys. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. He's dead, he's dead. After more deaths on all four sides and an attempted murder on Aimpy by the Evercolds, Bluebird and Smallfoot teamed up and ordered their men to kill every single Evercold. Yo, 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 what are we doing? Yo, 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 chill, 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 what are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We should only be Bluebird and Smallfoot left in this game. Everyone else should die. Oh, relax, 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 everyone relax, everyone relax. Yes, nice shot. Like, I don't care anymore. Negotiating is negotiating done. Well, they're gonna get me. GG, GG, guys. Well, this was all happening, Ronin and some of his men headed to the middle altar, which was located exactly in between all of the four islands. This was the place where the legendary weapons had to be merged. But upon arriving at the altar, Ronin and his men stumbled up on a big tread. Oh! Okay! Oh no. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait! Yeah, give me hours, give me hours, give me hours. The war was over. The Evercold clan had perished. Elemental had killed Green Sandwich and now carried two of the legendary weapons. With Fallen carrying the third, the remaining Bluebirds and Smallfoot now possessed three weapons. However, this meant that they still missed one, which was in possession of JJQ from Longclaw, who was nowhere to be found. Why the would JJQ um, come no, out of hiding no. knowing that she would have to die? Well, she's gonna die anyway if she stays there. We also oh still God. need to defeat the boss in the middle, she's right? She's gonna make sure we all die for my... What if we I die? Can As the temperature kept dropping, the winds were getting colder and the weather was getting worse. Time was running out. Most wildlife had succumbed to the cold and the first clan member started dying of frostbite. With JJQ still missing, all hope to stop the winter seemed lost. Yeah, it's getting colder. Guys, guys, we have to go. However, just as us, JJQ also knew that if she wouldn't show herself, she'd die to the cold as well. So she decided to take her shot and headed to the allied Smallfoot and Bluebird army, which held up near the altar. It's JJQ, it's JJQ! Wait, wait guys, don't, don't... Wait, 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 wait. JJQ, as the last Longclaw, approached the group. Holding the frozen X. <laughs> okay, change your key. Change your key. Change your key. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I I I need. I, I need. You, all... I know you need it. I know. Oh, 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 don't, don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. The alliance had planned earlier that all remaining weapon holders were going to duel with each other to decide who would survive, and in order to keep the peace, they wanted to give JJQ the same chance. To which he agreed. Though. As this promise was being made, an old enemy of Bluebirds turned up at the meeting. 
Senpai cake. Wait, I need every single weapon. I need yeah, to run up there. Wait, hang on. Senpai cake. Jade, one weapon. This guy betrayed our team. Weapon. Wait, we still have uh, everything we can do with no, Senpai no, cake. No, Ronan, no, kill him. No, no, kill him right now. Kill Senpai. No, don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. What are you trying to do? I'll give him a last wish. Justice. Oh, what's that? Whoa! The murder of Senpai Cake by me and Ronan caused a brief moment of panic within the group, in which not only Senpai Cake, but also JJQ got killed in cold blood. No one pick, oh, it, pick up. it up! No one pick it up! Right after the murders, Bucklers immediately tried to calm everything down, as they now had all four weapons and there wasn't much time left. Elemental carried three weapons and Fallen one, meaning that one of them had to die. To solve this, Aimpy and Bucklers let the two fight to the death. Let's go, 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 Elemental of Small Food now carried all four weapons and the remaining clan members headed to the top of the altar to merge them and end winter. But when they reached the altar, there was one more challenge they had to face. Okay. Fish him, he's gonna damage. Hey, fish him up, fish him up, fish him up, fish him up. You guys, I think we're gonna do is that speedy path. Yeah! Okay, move back. Yeah. Yeah. We won it. Oh. Did we win? Where's Elemental? The Guardian of the Altar had been defeated, and Elemental started to merge the weapons. But for the winter to end, just as with the crafting of the weapons, one more sacrifice was required. Knowing that there was no time left, Bucklers, the leader of the small food, stepped forward. I know I took leader in the beginning, and I've given you this opportunity to lead my team for me. And for Are that, I will calm. sacrifice myself proudly for you to be able to use this weapon properly. No one hit Jumps him. And kills no, him. no. This is how I want to kill him. Kill him. Wait, yeah, yeah, we're not gonna be the yeah. Yeah. With Bucklers' sacrifice, the cold wind stopped, and the snow started to melt. The clans had come together and set their differences aside. Winter was finally over. <laughs>